so this is a weird shaped uh, half cell tower in Jefferson City, Missouri. This is where it, this is where it starts. It's where that's there it is. Then it just gets some. Um, you know how um, usually towers, um, freestanding towers, will usually look like that. But this one does not. This one's uh, this one's rare. Like there, there's another, there's a clone of this tower in, uh, I think uh, in, uh, crap, I forgot. It was in um, Columbus. Yeah, Columbia. Actually, I don't know. I don't remember. But it's somewhere down. It's somewhere down this highway here, just uh, farther down there. Uh, it doesn't look like. I don't see any markers. Oh wait, I see a marker now. Okay. Well, there's some markers. There's a cell antennas with two other things on it, dishes. And then you got the top, which um, I'm going. I'm going to tell you something right now. This tower used to have a uh, old school incandescent beacon, but now it has this crappy LED. Well, it's actually it's it's a modern. I'm pretty sure. It's not, I, I call it crappy because I hate LEDs so much. Here's something that I really, really hate. I hate how, um, I hate it when, um, incandescent beacons get replaced with, um, white and red LEDs. Like, why not just red LEDs? Like, this, this, t like, this thing shined white for all its life. And now, it now, it now has a, a white and red LED. Yeah, it doesn't make me happy. It's too windy out here. And, oh, I forgot to mention this is red and white as well. This is the, um, back when I, I seen this on Google Maps. Back when it used to have its incandescent beacon, it did not have more than one set of sign markers. It only had one set of sign markers, and it's right where these new sign markers are now. And um, I'm set. I'm sorry to say, but um, they probably flash. I never seen it. Well. I, I haven't. I never seen this tower at night with its LED, so I don't know if they flash or not. But, dude, but back in 2015, FAA made some made some um, update to their system, wh which protects birds because they keep on running into the towers because they're steady lights, like the markers on the towers, how they're steady and they don't blink usually. Well, they changed that in 2015, giving birth to the flashing side markers which I hate they're not normal I think I see something in there is that a marker I, no that's not a marker that's just something that I saw never mind so yeah it has a white and red modern LED from flash technology with a with LED side markers they probably flash by by I'm saying I never seen this at night before with this LED or it's incandescent before so um yeah there's that if you're wondering what beacon this tower here has it has a um it's an it has an led i don't know what three types um the old school the crappy or the modern i don't know but um i think on street view there was nothing else uh, on it that i seen of nothing else from that that was sticking out of the tower so so yeah it must have had an led for all its life i think but yeah, it's a dual LED. It's not a it's not a night mode only LED. Uh, I think it has some markers as well. I don't know any. I don't. I I don't know any LED. I don't know any tower with an LED beacon that does not have markers. If if not, then I don't know. Markers are important when it comes to um, dual LED beacons. So yeah. There's both of them. I'm still mad at what they did to this tower. I I wish this still had its incandescent beacon, because incandescents are cool.